Welcome back, everybody. The American Rescue Plan has finally been signed into law just on Thursday by President Biden. Today is March the 13th. It's early in the a.m. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope your day is starting off well and have a great weekend. This is your daily stimulus report on your first, second, and your third. We're going to zoom in on the third, and we're also going to include some updates on PPP. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you're joining us for the first time today, welcome. Consider becoming a subscriber. We're going to dive straight into the stimulus update because, boom, just yesterday on my channel, my viewers have been telling me that they are receiving their checks already, their stimulus checks. Magically, poof, $2,800 have showed up in some of their bank accounts. So, all right, go pause the video, run out, check your bank account and see if your funds are there. We're gonna talk about on this video, who's getting this fast lane, the fast lightning speed checks, and uh, who's gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. We're gonna talk about the checks and how this whole payment process is gonna work, okay? And just to put it into perspective for you, the first round of checks, that took about three weeks, okay? CARES Act checks, that took like three weeks. Paper checks, just forget about it. They, they took even longer, months, okay? The second checks that came out, they were out in like three to five days, all right? Paper checks were still terrible for that round. And now, within 24 hours, boom, money's showing up. <laughs> Way to go, IRS. That's pretty awesome, okay? So who's getting the stimulus checks? It's a $1,400 stimulus check, and it gets multiplied by the number of dependents that you, the filer, have on your taxes, okay? So if you're, if you're a single filer, it's $75,000 or less and it ends at $80,000. If you are a married couple, it is $150,000 or less, and it ends at $160,000. And if you are head of household, it is $112,500, up to $20,000, and it just completely ends, okay? So $112,500 or less, and then it dies at 120. You get nothing after 120, okay? And on your dependents, if everybody has social security numbers, this could be your children from six months, all the way up until you know high school this could be your children in college this could be adult dependents that you might be taking care of anybody that is on your taxes that has an ssn take fourteen hundred dollars and multiply it by however many dependents you have plus yourself okay fantastic i know it's awesome so let's talk about who's getting these fast checks okay the fast mega fast checks the lightning speed checks if you already apply, if you already did your taxes for 2019 or 2020 electronically and you've already received a refund, you have to receive a refund, you are in the fast lightning speed, okay? <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, if you had to pay in, all right, if you had to pay taxes, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer, okay? <laughs> they have to go through the full auditing process before they can give you money back, all right? So it's going to take a little bit longer. There's going to be some delays out there for anybody who had to pay taxes in. But 2019, 2020 taxes, if you've already paid and got a refund back, if you are, sorry, if you already got a refund back, you guys are in the lightning round, okay? Now, who else is in the lightning round? This is interesting, okay? The IRS created a tool for non-filers. Non-filers, if they filed this thing before November 21st of 2020, it was basically like a fake income tax statement, Okay. And it basically said you owed nothing. You're a non-filer, you owed nothing, but you're still eligible for a stimulus check. Here's how your bank and routing information. You guys are also in the lightning round. So I hope you guys are starting to see your checks. Let us know in the comments if you got your checks, right? Give us a big thumbs up and uh, let us know if you're all celebrating, okay? I'm probably gonna stay away from Walmart this weekend. Uh, every time stimulus checks go out, man, my Walmart gets really, really packed, okay? So I'm staying, I'm, I'm staying far, far away from Walmart, all right? Okay, so there's going to be far more debit cards going out this time around, okay? Uh, the, the second check brought debit cards too. We're going to see this thing up to like practically double the amount in this, in this round. Now, be very cautious that you don't mistakenly throw this debit card away. Yeah, I know, it looks like one of those, it looks like one of those uh, junk mail that you get, and that, you know, apply for these cards and you just throw them away. Don't make the mistake of throwing this thing away. As soon as we see what the card looks like, we're going to try and get a picture of it uh, so we can show all the viewers here so they don't make the mistake and throw it away, okay? <laughs> you don't want to throw your $2,800 right in the trash, all right? Give it to Walmart instead. It's like the same thing, right? <laughs> all right, let's get into some PPP updates.
If you haven't already done so, you can support the channel by tapping that old like button, okay? Every time you hit the like button, YouTube recommends this to more and more people, helps spread the message, and there's a lot of things to talk about on this channel, like EIDL and PPP. Big deadlines are coming up. Uh, and you can also share us on your Facebook or Twitter. And of course, we do have other videos where we talk about building wealth strategies through passive income, royalties, and the stock market. We'll let you know as those videos come out. So let's get into PPP. Big deadline coming up here, March 31st. And if you're stuck in the middle, I know so many people are stuck in the middle. They filed for net and they are stuck there and they don't know what to do, right? Uh, so <laughs> you're going to have to ask yourself a very big question. There is a likelihood that the deadline will be extended. There are things in play that could potentially extend this deadline. Congress just passed a new bill sending $7.25 billion over to a PPP program that's going to end in two weeks. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? The uh, PPPLF, Federal Reserve, extended their deadline to continue flowing money to the SBA. All right, now the application is still March 31st, but the, uh, the uh, Federal Reserve is going to keep money flowing up until June 30th. So all of these things coupled together kind of points to the indication that they're going to extend the program, okay? But you can risk missing it all if you don't apply right now. So you got to ask yourself the question, if you have an application out there for net, and it's a very small amount. And if you figure it by using your gross calculation, you can get a lot more money, like 10x, 5x, 6x. I mean, it's a big difference, right? You're going to have to ask yourself a very, very big question. Do you want to risk taking nothing right now and pulling your application back versus leaving it in there, letting it ride, and hoping that the SBA will get off their butts and let us correct that net income to gross, right? Uh, Everybody's asking me, what are we doing about this net income? Everybody who got draw one, draw two, off of net, right? Funded. The SBA told us we can't change it. You have to go with the rules that were set in place at the time. I think that's, I think that's BS, okay? I think it's total BS, and I think we need Congress, all of our senators, all of our representatives to hear us right now that we're pissed off about this, and we want to get this thing changed to gross, they're allowing farmers to do it with Schedule F filers, and it was designed to let Schedule C filers do this as well. And we want you to hear us because we want to be able to change this. So tag all of your senators and let them know that you're upset about this. I mean, this is just an outrage, right? Total outrage, allowing Schedule F filers to change it, but not allowing Schedule C. It seems like it's all in the same intent. And really, this is coming down to time and laziness of the SBA. All right, so we're getting to act of Congress to get this done. So everybody support the channel and tag all of your congressmen and senators right now. Let's get it done. Remember, leaving comments enrolls you into my next giveaway because when I hit 20,000 subscribers, I am picking a lucky subscriber who comments in all my videos to send $500 to. I just did this last Saturday, a week ago. Gave away $500 to one lucky family. Uh, I mean, they were extremely grateful. It really helped them out in this struggling time. And if you need help figuring out what kind of comments you're going to leave, let us know where you are in the PPP application process. Let us, let us know if you're a draw one, draw two, if you got funds, if you're allowed to use your gross income uh, on a fintech, something. Let us know so we can share it with all our viewers. So look, everyone, the next step is up to you, okay? Take some of this stimulus money and get out there and start investing again. Right now, in the description, you can check out Weeble and BlockFi. Weeble wants to give you two free stocks valued up to $1,600 after you deposit $100 into the platform. And BlockFi, deposit anywhere between $50 and $250 to secure your cryptocurrency, and you could earn like 8.6% interest. That is actually pretty awesome, okay? I use both of these platforms each and every day. Weeble's pretty cool, right? You could do all this cool stuff like this. Check this out. Look at this game I get to play here, right? And that, all I did is I recommended friends, and every time I recommend a new friend, I get to spin that wheel. And look at that. I just won stocks. And the other day, I won this. $262 worth of free Facebook stocks. Pretty awesome stuff, if you ask me, okay? <laughs> That's going to do it for today, folks. Uh, if you need more assistance on any of this outside of my free content that I have here on YouTube, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Uh, find me in the description, or I'll pin it right in the top comment. You can also find me on Instagram. Go in the description to find me. Don't follow anybody else on this channel trying to get you over to Instagram. We are blocking them, but... Man, they just still get through, okay? I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.